Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigam. In this video, we are going to solve one very very interesting question from algebra. We will solve one quartic equation 16x power 4 minus 88x square minus 48x plus 45 equal to 0. So we are going to calculate all four solutions. Let's get started by writing our equation 16 times x power 4 minus 88 we will factorize 22 times 4 times x square. Then we have 48 which we will write 24 times 2 times x. Then we will write our last term plus 45 equal to 0. Now I can write 16 as 2 power 4 and 4 will write 2 square. So I can write 2 power 4 times x power 4 minus 22 times 2 square times x square minus 24 times 2x plus 45 equal to 0. Now we will use one powerful exponent law which says a power c times b power c. This is always a b whole power c. So this property we are going to apply here and here we can write 2x whole power 4 minus 22 times 2x whole square minus 24 times 2x plus 45 equal to 0. Now we can use substitution. Let us say 2x is equal to y. So we will write our quartic in y. y power 4 minus 22 times y square minus 24 times y plus 45 equal to 0. Now I will use rational root theorem and synthetic division method. Let me write our equation here y power 4 minus 22 times y square minus 24 times y plus 45 equal to 0. If I will plug in y equal to 1 straight away, then it will satisfy our equation because 1 minus 22 minus 24 plus 45. So I can write here 46 minus 46 which is 0. So y equal to 1 is our base solution. Now we can use synthetic division method. In this method we will write all the coefficients of quartic equation. Coefficient of y power 4 is 1. Coefficient of y cube that is missing so we will write 0. Coefficient of y square is negative 22. Coefficient of y is negative 24. And constant is 45. Now we will write here leading coefficient 1 as it is. Now we will multiply our base solution with this leading coefficient 1. And we will write 1 times 1 which is 1 here. Now we have to add these two numbers. We will get 1. Here again we will multiply 1 times 1 we will write 1 here addition of these two will give us minus 21. 1 times minus 21 is minus 21 addition of these two will give us minus 45. 1 times minus 45 is minus 45. If we will add these two we will get 0. So these are coefficients for cubic equation. I can write cubic as y cube plus y square minus 21y minus 45 equal to 0. Now we will find eligible factors of 45 here. Let me write equation once y cube plus y square minus 21y 
minus 45 equal to 0. So if we will write eligible factors of 45, I can write plus minus 1, plus minus 3, plus minus 5, plus minus 9, plus minus 15, plus minus 45. Leading coefficient is 1. So I can write here plus minus 1. Now we will consider ratio of constant to leading coefficient or factors. In this series, if I will plug in y equal to 1, will it satisfy 1 plus 1 minus 21 minus 45? No, it won't. If I will plug in y equal to minus 1, minus 1 plus 1 plus 21 minus 45. No, it won't. If I will plug in y equal to 3, so 27 plus 3 square is 9. Minus 21 times 3 is 63 minus 45. Again, it is not satisfying. Now we will check y equal to minus 3. So I can write here minus 27 plus 9. Minus 21 times minus 3 is plus 63 minus 45. So we can find 72 minus 72, which is satisfying our equation we will say y equal to minus 3 is base solution for this cubic equation again we will use synthetic division method let us write all the coefficients of cubic equation so 1 1 minus 21 and minus 45 we will write leading coefficient 1 as it is now we have to multiply base solution with this leading coefficient number. Minus 3 times 1, minus 3. Addition of these two will give us minus 2. Minus 3 times minus 2 is 6. If we will add these two, we will get minus 15. Minus 3 times minus 15 plus 45. Addition of these two will give us 0. Here we have coefficients for Quadratic equation. So I can write quadratic as y square minus 2y minus 15 equal to 0. So far we have y equal to 1. Our first base solution y equal to minus 3. Second base solution for cubic. And then we have quadratic equation y square minus 2y minus 15 equal to 0. So I can write y minus 1 times y plus 3 times y square minus 2y minus 15 equal to 0. Now we have to factor this quadratic expression. So if I will factorize here, then I can write y square and I can split minus 2y as minus 5y plus 3y. Then we have minus 15. From first two terms, y is common. y minus 5 in the bracket. From last two, 3 is common. y minus 5 in the bracket. So I can factor y minus 5 times y plus 3. So overall, if I will write, then y minus 1 times y plus 3 times y plus 3 times y minus 5 equal to 0. Now we will use product 0 rule and we can write either y minus 1 equal to 0 or y plus 3 whole is square equal to 0 or y minus 5 equal to 0. So we will be getting y equal to 1, y equal to negative 3 with multiplicity 2 and y equal to 5. Here we have multiplicity 2 for y equal to negative 3. Now y was 2x. So I will write here y is equal to 1 
y is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5. This is negative 3. So I will write y is equal to 2x. 1, negative 3 and 5. Let's divide both sides by 2. So we will write here divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. This 2 and 2 will be over. From left hand side, we will get x equal to half, x equal to minus 3 over 2 and x equal to 5 over 2. Where minus 3 over 2 having multiplicity, multiplicity 2. So we have in total four solutions half minus 3 by 2, minus 3 by 2, and 5 over 2. I hope, friends, you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.